Well, with Roe versus Wade overturned, we wanted to find out how that decision could affect schools and education going forward, especially for young women. And joining us this morning to discuss more of that issue is Jessica Black, Chalkbeat reporter. Uh, Chalkbeat's a nonprofit news organization that covers education. Uh, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. So first off, obviously some states banning abortions almost entirely. Uh, what is the outlook, what does that make the outlook like for young women that are still in high school and maybe get pregnant? What does it look like? Sure, so experts across fields from economists to sociologists and educators have plenty of evidence showing that lack of access to abortion generally will impact prospects for all women. So prospects in education, prospects for their career, and that impacts financial stability. Um, and so that would impact them in a variety of, of ways. Um, and not just them, but also any children that they have. Um, studies show that there is an increased likelihood of child poverty. Um, um, for children of a woman who tried to have access to abortion um, but was but was denied access. So it'll really impact them um, mainly in education and um, career and, and finance stability. Uh, has your reporting said anything about the, the teen birth rate and if that may go up or change somehow? Yeah, so I think something to keep in mind in general with all of the impacts is that experts predict general trends, but when they're making their predictions, um, they make sure that we as reporters know not to try and put exact numbers to it um, because the magnitude of the impact um, is hard to predict exactly. Um, but in general, experts expect trends of increased teen births. Um, now for a state like Texas, where there have been uh, restrictions in place already, particularly for young women um, when it comes to parental notification or um, uh, giving them confirmation um, and allowance to be able to access an abortion. Um, the teen birth rates may already be a little bit higher because access to abortion may be a little bit lower. So the change may not be super drastic, mm -hmm. um, but in general, they do expect for teen birth rates to increase. What about, let's say, programs that help teen parents reach graduation? Yeah, absolutely. So there has been a general decrease, actually, um, up until about 2016, 2017 um, in teen births, which is positive, but that also means that some of the programs for teen parents have been shutting their doors. Um, and so if you think about your local district, it may not be automatically that a program to support teen moms comes to, to mind. And so they may lack, students may lack the resources that they need um, when they already have uh, less likelihood of graduating high school. Um, they may also lack the specific programs for them and their needs um, in order to help with that um, likelihood to graduate. And we've been talking specifically about young women, but you did mention at the top, obviously this decision impacts all women. Can you talk a little bit about, with regard to education, how these new res restrictions on abortions might play a role in the teacher workforce? Sure, so the teacher workforce is 75 to 80% women. Um, so it can be expected in general, um, even if it's not a mass exodus, that there will be some women who have an unplanned pregnancy and have to either leave for maternity leave or leave the profession entirely. Um, and even if that's not happening, uh, in a mass amount um, and an aggregate, it will impact individual districts and schools, especially when there's already a strain on the teacher workforce with COVID, um, from teachers being out sick to also teachers leaving due to stresses um, that have been placed specifically in the realm of education um, as we as we try to recover for students coming back from the pandemic. So we can we can definitely expect um, some impact there, um, but again, it's hard to know exactly what magnitude. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just in some ways it's uncharted territory all over again. Uh, where, where can our viewers read more about uh, some of this work that you've done, Jessica? Absolutely. They can head to www.chalkbeat.org um, and our article will be there. And it is full of a lot of research um, that professionals across the field um, have done um, looking deeper into these trends. So you can take a look there. And we've been learning a little more this week about you guys at, at Chalkbeat, the nonprofit news organization focusing on education. And uh, Jessica, thanks again for, for your time today. Really appreciate it. Thank you.